Hello, Mrs. Pitchford. Are you all right? I'm very pleased to hear it. Well, I hope you have a nice afternoon. Thank you for calling us. Bye-bye. Just one of the 2,000 emergency calls handled every day by the Wellbeing Contact Centre in Sussex. This elderly couple, both in their 90s, can use the communication pendants worn around their necks to summon help at the touch of a button. Do not worry. Your alarm telephone is dialing for assistance. This is a reconstruction of a recent event in which this lady suffered a serious fall and needed urgent help. She couldn't reach the normal telephone, but that didn't matter. The well-being system came to her rescue. By pressing this pendant button, she triggers an automatic call to one of the operators. Hello, Mrs. Wood, you're through to Maureen at Lifeline. Is everything OK? No, I'm on the floor and I'm, I, I'm able to get up. Uh, and okay, my husband worry, Mrs. Wood, we'll get you help. Have you been injured or are you bleeding? No, I'm sorry. It'll bit of blood on my head but nothing much. Okay Mrs Woods we'll get the paramedics for you. I'll come back and speak to you again in a moment. The joint commissioning team in West Sussex headed by Sam Turl says the wellbeing service is proving a huge benefit to elderly and housebound people in their local authority area. I think the main thing is is a feeling of reassurance. I mean I guess I would liken it a bit to like your breakdown cover for your car. You're delighted when you don't use it but you know it's there when you do use it. So someone, either an individual or a couple, who are maybe you know, elderly or vulnerable in some other way, living at home, it means that they have the reassurance that if something happens, they know that they can call for help instantly. For this couple, the Wellbeing Lifeline service is now an essential part of their daily lives. It's enabled them to stay together in their own home. They have smoke detectors and other devices linked to the system which can summon help automatically at any time of the day or night. Lifeline's been a godsend, you know. The ambulance comes in 10, 15 minutes and you're all right. And I press that red button there and left it and then we get a message from where it's connected and Stan took the message and, and told them that I'd had a fall and they'd be here as quick as I can. In West Sussex, people assessed as being at possible risk because of age or incapacity are being offered a free trial of the Lifeline service for up to three months. West Sussex County Council have developed what we call a 13-week hospital avoidance initiative. This is where we will fund telecare, a community alarm and any additional equipment that's needed in, into a person's home for up to 13 weeks. Um, now the aim of this is to either allow someone to be discharged from hospital earlier or to prevent the admission altogether. A wide range of professionals including social workers, occupational therapists, nurses and other hospital discharge staff can make a referral to wellbeing. It's a very simple referral process in which the professional would indicate what sort of equipment and level of support service would be needed. Um, Wellbeing will then install the equipment and, and the person will be connected to the monitoring centre. During a 13-week trial period, users of the West Sussex Lifeline service can benefit from some of this vast array of sensory equipment and alarm systems that can be installed in a customer's home. Um, with this unit here, the telehealth one, it monitors their health in the morning, so it saves the nurses going to visit the client every day. So when it does flag up an issue with them, then they could visit when, when and if required. These devices, known as assistive technology, provide reassurance both for the individual using Lifeline and also for relatives and friends who can be safe in the knowledge that even an unexpected movement in the home will trigger an alert. It gives them um, confidence and peace of mind because they know at a press of a button, one of the dependents, they will get assistance um, within 45 minutes, probably even less so they know they're not on their own. And even if the user has to pay for the service, him or herself, it costs little more than the price of a television licence.